and welcome everybody to Bothwell Holland's Strathclyde Park for the Scottish Cup tie between Hamilton Ackies and Rangers. So it's an excellent day for a game of football with both teams looking forward to a fine game. Lining up for Hamilton today we have number 22 Lauren Grant, then number 3 Megan Quinn, number 4 Danny Connolly, number 5 Kirsty Fraser, number 7 Emma Lyons, number 13, Nina Fitzsimmons, number 14, Jill Ingalls, number 15, Katie Rice, 16, Megan Quigley, 17, Barry Lyle, 21, Jade Lindsay. And lining up for Rangers in goal, number 33 is Chloe Ray, number 3, Amy Muir, number 5, Warren Garland. Number six, Jenna Clark. Number eight, Holly Napier. Number 10, Lisa Swanson. 12, Sarah Robertson. 14, Hayley Sinclair. 17, Claire Gemmell. 22, Caitlin O'Hara. And 23, Leah Eddy. Today's match referee is Rory Grenfell. And the assistant referee one is Donnie McKinnon. Second assistant referee is Lewis Graham. So as match referee Rory Grenfell starts the game, Rangers have possession, kicking right to left. That's a ball up the right-hand side for Rangers to build an attack. That looks like it's cleared by Danny Connolly. Make it a Rangers ball. It gives a chance for Lauren Grant to clear it downwind. That's a decent kick over the halfway line. One in the air by Jenna Clark of Rangers. But then Danny Connolly's fighting hard for Hamilton. Then Rangers collect the ball. Goes in scrappy in the midfield area. Rangers emerge with the ball. They're on the left-hand side now. A chance here for Amy Muir to go forward. She comes in on her right foot and it's an ambitious shot. One that won't trouble the goalkeeper. That just flies wide of Lauren Grant's left-hand post. So Rangers have it. Claire Gemmell. She's closed down by Katie Rice. Finds Haley Sinclair on a good turn. Left foot comes into the box. Lauren Grant has a good pair of hands. Dangerous ball into the box there. Lauren Grant gets down. Gathers that ball pretty safely. So Lauren Grant makes a kick. Again, struggling for distance. But a head flick on helps Hamilton's cause. Katie Rice's first touch is decent, but that's picked up by Caitlin O'Hara for Rangers. And there's a chance here for Megan Quigley. She's in one on one. What can she do? She's got a chance still in balls. A chance here for Megan Quigley. So Megan Quigley just about makes it a one goal start for Hamilton, but agonisingly past the post. So the score stays at nothing each. So good kick from the Hamilton goalkeeper this time, straight into the Rangers half. Lauren Gallen and Emma Lyons exchange headers. Vary Lyle now in position to keep the ball on. The long range shot by Katie Rice just goes agonisingly past the post. So that's the second close call for Hamilton in the first half. So nearly open to scoring, but the score stays at nothing each. So there it goes, a hefty kick this time. Well in, Emma Lyons wins that one in the air, but it breaks free this time to Amy Muir. She comes inside, tries to thread the ball through. Kirsty Fraser gets a shoulder charge in. Claire Gemmell now down the left-hand side, sends a ball into the box. It's tried to be win there. There's a challenge in there, a shot and goal perhaps. Lisa Swanson doing her best, comes back to Amy Muir. She might have a shot and goal. It's closed down by Megan Quigley, and then a first-time effort by Holly Napier, well wide of the target. Amy Muir throws the ball in. Jill Ingalls heads the ball in the air. Mega, Megan Quigley gives it to Nina Fitzsimmons. She tries to feed it forward, but Caitlin O'Hara, she goes back to the defender and then across to Lauren Gallen for Rangers. She has her head up, plays it along the ground there to Jenna Clark. Her first touch is inside. Nina Fitzsimmons comes across. Jenna Clark's in possession. She may have a chance to shot and goal. But then when the ball did eventually go across to Holly Napier, that was very high and underneath the ball. Well over Lauren Grant's bar. Much better kick from her hand. Over the halfway line. 
headed straight up in there, so there's a chance here. Emma Lyons underneath it. In there by Holly Napier winning the ball. Emma Lyons gives it to Megan Quinn. She finds Katie Rice. First touch is decent. Lovely spin, Katie Rice. Good feet and outside. There's a chance of a long range shot. And just held on well by Chloe Ray. Good play by the Hamilton striker. So Lauren Grant, that's a better kick. More flight. Head flick on Megan Quigley. Lauren Gallen picks it up, but there's a chance for Nina Fitzsimmons to put on pressure, which she has done. Jill Ingalls goes in for a tackle, but Amy Muir is just a little bit too quick on that occasion. And now Sarah Robertson has it on the left-hand side. She plays it inside. Megan Quigley's foot's there. There's a chance here for a shot and goal. Good shot and goal, Rangers. Lauren Grant down and Bory straight behind it. Amy Muir will be restarting this game. She's looking for movement for the, the blue shirts. Some movement there. Will she get the ball back? Decent play, Carla Boyce. Holding on to the ball. But good challenge, Nina Fitzsimmons. Fari Lai doing well to Katie Rice. Katie Rice now has space. What can she do? She finds Emma Lyons. First touch is a little bit heavy though. Lauren Grant reads it. Comes back to Katie Rice. She finds a ball up through Megan Quinn. Can this ball come into the box? It can. Has anybody got a header on it? So it's a good challenge there. Looks like it's a header. Good movement. Hamilton in and around the box. The chance of a header was there, but it was cleared by Rangers. Katie Rice gets it on the foot. Back to Megan Quinn. Ball into the box. Laurie Gardner's head flick. That's a decent attempt on goal. She was... Free in the box, the ball came across. She tried to guide it into the left hand post of Chloe Ray, and it just went agonisingly past. So, Megan Quinn for Hamilton. Up it goes. Hayley Sinclair keeps it in. Holly Napier heads it on. Jenna Clark has it. She then dwells on the ball, but plays a decent pass to Amy Muir. That gives Hamilton a chance to get back in the game and in position Amy Muir goes across to Leah Eddy Leah Eddy has time and space to come to the halfway line and then it's a ball into the corner but Megan Quinn first touch is a little bit heavy and then Haley Sinclair manages to get that ball but Megan Quinn has it Danny Connolly tries to clear it the Rangers still have it on the edge of the box Claire Gemmell closed down by Laurie Gardner Megan Quigley's touch is heavy the ball's free in the middle of the park Lauren Garland picks it up. She sends it cross field. It's in there for Rangers. There's a chance for a shot and goal, perhaps. Haley Sinclair shoots left footed. And it's the opening goal for Rangers. They've broken the deadlock. So there was ball on the edge of the box. It went free. So Haley Sinclair came across the ball. She had a strong left footed shot. And it just went past the left hand of Lauren Grant. So that opens the scoring in a tight game. Danny Connolly sends it goalward. Megan Quigley tries to win that one in the air. Claire Gemmell does well for Rangers, but that could be dispossessed by Megan Quigley. And that ball just goes past the post of Chloe Ray. Chance there from a defensive mix-up from Rangers. And the Hamilton striker almost equalised for the Lanarkshire team. So Katie Rice wins that head flick. There's a chance here. Jill Ingalls is up. She's battling. There's a chance at goal. Jill Ingalls! And she's equalised for Hamilton! So it was a short kick out by Chloe Ray. Katie Rice did well to win the ball. It broke to Jill Ingalls. She went into the box. And she's dispatched the ball into the roof of the neck to tie the ball up. And it's Hamilton 1, Rangers 1. Last moments of the cup tie. Rangers will be looking to try and score a goal. Going to the next round. In the ball comes. Kirsty Fraser wins a good header. The chance for Amy Anderson, but she decides to let it go. Ball comes into the box. Lauren Grant, two hands. Good save. So it took a deflection on its way in. Lauren Grant manages to adjust her feet and collect that with a safe pair of hands. <clears throat> So, as the referee blows his whistle for the end of this cup tie, it finishes at 1-1. So that will mean extra time. Long and powerful throw, head flick on. Jill Ingalls and Katie Rice getting in each other's way. 
Long headed clearance by Haley Sinclair. It's good movement there, but Danny Connolly's read that book again. She flicks on to Megan Quinn, who then tries to play it forward. But Lauren Garland for Rangers sends it into the midfield area. Kirsty Fraser gets her foot in the ball and she finds Rachel Ross. Amy Anderson tries to play a through ball. Jill Ingalls is on the charge. Can she collect it before it stops? She just about can. Plays it across. Chance there for Hamilton. Katie Rice to Lazzie. It's the handball! It must be a handball by Claire Gemmell. And the referee has no hesitation in pointing to the spot. So this is a golden opportunity for Hamilton to take the lead. So, penalty for Hamilton. Jill Ingalls will take it against Chloe Ray. Up she steps, and she dispatches that into the top right-hand corner. Lovely technique by the Hamilton captain. She opened the body shape, applied the right foot, side foot to the ball, and it went high into the corner, out of the reach of Chloe Ray. That gives Hamilton the lead in extra time. Lauren Gallen has it for Rangers. She plays it wide, a crossfield ball, but Jill Ingalls intercepts that one. Good read by the Hamilton captain. She goes inside, a left-footed shot chance. An amazing goal by Hamilton! It all started with a crossfield ball that was intercepted by Jill Ingalls. She came inside the fullback beautifully, and she shows that she can dispatch the ball with her left foot as well as her right. And it goes into the roof of Chloe Ray's net to make it 3-1 to Hamilton. Hannah Coakley now has it for Rangers. She goes a crossfield pass, plucked out of the air quite nicely there by Caitlin O'Hara. Now there's a long range shot. It's a tremendous drive by Haley Sinclair, left footed just past Lauren Grant's left hand post. Very close to bringing Rangers close to contact. But still, Hamilton have that two goal advantage. So up it comes. Chantel Brown tries to collect that one. It's a Rangers ball. Jenna Clark turns and spins. She's getting lent on pretty hard there by Megan Quinn, who does not give up. Megan Quinn does excellently there to keep possession of the ball, but it's a good fight between the two of those two players. Then eventually, looks like it's going to be a free kick to Rangers. So Chantel Brown for Rangers, flights that ball in left-footed, it's into the danger area. Keeper gets a palm on it, goes out there to the box. Great header, Katie Rice. That's cleared the danger momentarily. Caitlin O'Hara gets it, goes all the way back to goalkeeper, but she's just punched that straight up in the air. Nina Fitzsimmons, but that's going to be offside. Katie Rice didn't manage to retreat to her own half. So correct call there by Donnie McKinnon on the far side. Then keeper sends it straight up in the air. That's one for Nina Fitzsimmons to control. She does so. First touch by Laurie Gardner's good. Inside Claire Gemmell. Laurie Gardner still in possession. She just gets nudged there by Hannah Coakley. Needs to be a little bit stronger. However, Rangers now have it on the far touch line. Haley Sinkler comes inside. And she has to give it back there to Lauren Gallen. Lauren Gallen plays a right-footed pass across the way to Leah Eddy. And she's in space here to try and get the ball into the box. But there's good communication this time between Lauren Grant and Danny Connolly sees the ball go straight the way through to the Hamilton keeper. So Lauren Grant, good kick as the referee blows his whistle for the end of the cup tie. It sees Hamilton emerge victorious by three goals to one after extra time. The two decisive goals coming, one from the penalty spot, Jill Ingalls. And Jill Ingalls adding the second goal with a beautiful solo effort inside the defender and a left-footed shot to the roof of the net. So it's an excellent result for Hamilton Ackes. Sees them progress to the next round of the cup. And one that I'm sure all the players will be very happy with indeed. So an excellent cup tie between two good teams. Nothing much between them. Hamilton come out on top today. So these two teams meet again shortly in the league, which will be an important match for both clubs when league points are available for the winning. So I hope you've enjoyed the match highlights from Bothwell Hall today, and we look forward to the pleasure of your company 
next time. So in the meantime, it's goodbye from me, match commentator, John Mathers. <laughs>